You know, we talk about the brotherhood and what our guys are doing. We particularly talk about the guys in the NBA, but there's a guy out there from our brotherhood who really I'm most proud of, and he's Marshall Plumley. He decided to go into the military, he took ROTC here, became an officer, and uh, although he was pursuing an NBA dream, his real dream was to be in the Army. He left that basketball part of it and committed himself to the service and went to Ranger Airborne School. Uh, can you imagine 7 1 in, in Ranger School? If any of you know what that is, that's not an easy thing. Or jumping out of a plane at 7 1 or at any height, really. But uh, he was serving really well at Fort Lewis, Washington, and decided to try out for one of the elite. Uh, units in, in our military, uh, the 3rd Ranger Regiment uh, in, in, at Fort Benning, and went through a three-week period of, uh, of testing, and uh, you know what? He got it. Uh, and one of the things he, he, he said to me, I talked to him for a long time on the phone, he was so proud, and we're so proud of him. He, he, he said, Coach, the last, one of the last questions on the, with the board, and they really grill you, was, why do you want to be in the 3rd Ranger Regiment? And he, he, he told them, he said, when I was a sophomore at Duke, coach went down to Fort Benning and spoke for General Brown, one of his former players. They were going to put together the infantry and armor in the, in the military and combine them at Fort Benning. And when Coach went down there and speaking to all the leaders, uh, he was given a number of things. One was a hat from the 3rd Ranger Regiment. And when he came back, he gave it, Marshall was saying, he gave it to me and said, I know how much you think of the military. Here's something that you might like. He said, when I got that hat, it was a dream of mine to be in this unit. And now that dream can become a reality. I get chills all over and you want to start, you get emotional. And he made it. You know, God bless this kid, huh? Uh, what an amazing American. And anyway, I wanted to share that with you because you can see Zion Duncan or Jason hitting jump shots and Kyrie and all these guys doing it. We're proud of them. But this is something you don't see. You know, this level of commitment and Really, I, I tell guys all the time to follow their heart. No one that I've coached has followed his heart any faster and harder than this, than this guy, Marshall Plumley. We're very proud of him.